Hello again, my good friends. You see, I'm the proud owner of a Rode Wireless Go 2 set, two emitters and one receiver. I bought it second hand with a good price, but uh, unfortunately, the battery on one of the transmitter, it's looking like gave up. So nothing to do but to try to replace it. And I have a replacement battery that says 400 milliamps. After a series of charging and discharging, I realized that it's around 347, 308, so around 300 milliamps. And uh, because the original, as I see, it's around 350 milliamps. So that little battery should fit and uh, also do the purpose uh, change. Now I'm gonna try to open it up. I don't have any special tools, but I have a lot of guitar plectrums. So I'll try to use these guys for opening the case. And uh, so far I understood that uh, there are antennas or uh, something like that applied to the top here. So we have to be really careful about, do not attempt to open this up without heating. It's no danger to melt the plastic because it's only 126 degrees. Because all I need is to have a just a little crack here that I can exploit the rest. There we go. The antenna should be here somewhere, so I don't want to push it too much. Oh, man. <laughs> I turn it on now. Oh, look, the antenna, it's down there, right here. Luckily, I didn't touch that. And there we have the little battery. Let's see. I think this one is bigger. Do we have place to put it down there? Not so much. Yeah, at the limit. Okay, so just let me disconnect from down here. And the battery is out. Now I have to take this out from the case. And here we have the battery. 3.8 volt, 350 milliamps, lithium polymer rechargeable. I'll try to dismantle this gently because I want to use the board. I'm only disconnecting and reconnect the battery, access to battery itself, so. Okay, there you go. And that's the board. You see, I'll cut these contacts one by one, careful. Not both of them in the same time, because then we'll make a mess shorting the cell. Let me check the voltage first. It's pretty good voltage, in fact. What about this guy? This is charged also. Okay, so let me cut this. And then this one. Be careful not to short anything. That's it. And we had plus this side. Write this down. It's already saying here battery plus. In the meantime, I'm going to have this one cycled a few times to see if the battery is really in bad shape before doing anything else. So this is my antimatter charging, discharging, testing the battery. And we have the plus there, a minus here. Okay, and we are starting cycling the battery. Okay, like a piece of advice, that's the top here. So you can go all around, but we have to stop here in this region. Let's call it uh, left down or down left, where exactly in the middle, from the middle and down there, where we have the antenna. So be careful with that region because uh, it will be a mess if you smash the antenna. 
Now I have to see how can I fit this inside there. I have a set of S69, so I can take a look at this to see what kind of uh, battery it's inside there. Can we open it up? Let's see. It doesn't... Well, it's kind of light. Please turn off. Like I said, you know, it's very light. We have a screw. Okay, 200 milliamps. Hmm. Discharging with 0 0.59 and we'll see after a while how it behaves. I found another small battery. It's looking like uh, 200 milliamps like this one. So um, I have an idea in the meantime until the original battery is cycling. I can do a test. So I can have uh, two pieces of wire connected to these little batteries to see how long uh, it takes until the um, transmitter is turning off. These are charged. Let's measure this to be sure that is polarity. And we have the plus and the minus. Perfect. Okay. It's in the position. Yes, it is. Let's turn this guy on. I should see the LEDs running up here. Yes. And as you can see, that's number one here you see this one it's running and the battery is pretty good okay with the other battery in 10 minutes or so the transmitter is already off okay let's see so that's the original and this one after a couple of cyclings I have around 280 milliamps this one 200 milliamps still running great so what can we do about Let's measure the internal resistance. 4.14 volts, 89.1 milliohms. In the meantime, I found another cell here. Let's check this one too. 401 with 165. So, okay, maybe this is not charged. You know something? I'm gonna cycle this one too, to be sure about that. In the meantime, let me take this off. Let me take that off and measure it too, okay? So this one was working great for more than one and a half hour. 81.3. Okay, good, very good. Let me cycle this one. In the meantime, because anyway, it's nothing else to do. Let me put the original back through the wires, of course. I'm not in a hurry. And let's run the recorder. I can't explain what was happening because with this one, it was running for 10 minutes. Then it was up again and uh, later shut off and you know cycling cycling all the time th th that's kind of annoying and interesting so okay guys so this is very clear that's a problem with this cell i don't know what is it but anyway fully charged and start blinking already a quarter of battery uh, here on the receiver you can see that come on focus so you see number one over there it's a quarter of battery so something strange with this cell you see, I managed to squeeze this one a little bit more and now I can fit it inside. So I don't waste my time with uh, doing all kinds of experiments. Well, it's nice to know the status of the cells, but it takes too much time. And uh, I already have that one checked pretty okay. I'll use, of course, the onboard. So like I said, I managed, I squeeze it down. So now it's looking like it fits inside there. It's it's good. It's not smelling yet. That's the way to check for uh, leaking. Careful with these cells. We don't want to punch them down. Well, I forgot about the wires. I have to fit the wires too. Okay, that sucks. Let me try this side first. Okay, so here we are next morning, you know, 12 hours later, I could successfully fit the battery inside the transmitter. The single problem is that, as you can see, this is a little bit taller. I can't uh, get it down to the bottom, but uh, somehow with a little gap there, it will fit the top. Until I'm gonna have the replacement, I can use it this way.
now is charging and i may say we got like uh, 377 milliamps and still charging big time with a charge last night i managed more than six hours of recording what i'm gonna do for now just tape it like this so probably it, well it's not elegant but uh, until a replacement for the original it's here i can safely use the transmitter for the jobs up here and another piece of tape the other side probably i can do it better with a double tape inside there but for now it's more than enough the most important thing is to have access to the port the charging port can we move this oh no <laughs> yes we can like that is it ugly yes it is but i can use it that's the most important thing i may call that a fix temporary fix of course and uh, you see like always don't forget please uh, subscribe to my channel right here that's my channel you see you can you can see a lot of stuffs you know you can see a lot of videos about fixing things and uh, yeah don't forget subscribe to it and push like button don't be shy <laughs> and of course don't forget have fun bye bye